Singapore's defense minister says countries must reshape their militaries to deal with more non-conventional threats today. And these include terrorism, cyber attacks and the effects of climate change. And to respond more effectively, militaries will have to work closely with the defense technology sector. Ahmad Khan has more. This is Mr. Fort, a next generation robot that can be used for urban tactical training at close quarters. There's a requirement for uh, intelligent targets that can, can engage the troops right, in an intelligent way with enhanced realism, with many various scenarios, right? not just one fixed scenario. This is an example of how Singapore's Defence Ministry is working with scientists, engineers and military operators to develop capabilities to solve non-conventional problems. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen identified three of them, terrorism, cyber attacks and effects of climate change. Whatever the change is required, one aspect is clear. Our militaries will have to do more, sometimes with resource constraints. They will have there will have to be closer interactions between operational units and the defense technology community such as yourselves to optimize resources and improve responsiveness. Dr. Ng gave a few examples of militaries that are already adapting to change. For instance, Germany has significantly scaled up its cyber defenses, investing 1.6 billion euros on digitalization and IT, while also dedicating 13,000 personnel. Others, like the US, have been given the mandate to launch cyber counterattacks against aggressors. These issues are expected to be discussed at the summit. Also on the agenda, the impact of digitization, AI and automation on militaries. These problems are complex and even more so the solutions with hard trade-offs. But strengthening legislation and pre-agreed OB markers will certainly form part of our toolbox to tackle these challenges. And I think here it is important for leaders in defence technology to be involved in the process early, to have your views clarified and sharpened before they get caught up in the legislative and political machinations of individual countries. Delegates from 23 countries are present for the summit, an increase from last year's 17. It's a development that Dr. Ng welcomed amid what he called a more contested technology environment.